Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can try to reach a representative at the IRS. So the first one that I'm going to show you is by calling the IRS's main number and I have like a, a, navigate, a navigational hack to get you guys through to like bypass their phone menu. So uh, we're just going to call their main number which is 1-800-829-1040. So I'm gonna call that right now. So yeah, that's, that's the number that we're calling. So when this message starts, press one and wait a couple seconds and then we'll press two. Wait a couple more seconds and press one again. And then you'll press three. And then press 2. And after this, you'll wait about 30 seconds, and it, it's going to ask you for your um, social security number. But you don't actually have to uh, enter that in here. If you just wait till the end of this message, then you can press 2. So I'll do that here in a couple seconds. Or employer identification number for which you are calling. To better service your call, so once you hear to better service your call, press two. You are calling about it. If you owe money to the IRS and want to discuss, and then after that, press, press four. One. If your call may be monitored or so this will try to put you on a hold line. We transfer your call. Please wait. We're sorry, but due to extremely high call volume in the topic you requested, we are unable to handle your call at this time. Please try again later or on our next business day. You can also visit us on the web at www.irs.gov. Thank you. So sometimes when you try calling this way, they'll tell you that like no one is available to take your call and they, they end the call. Um, that's that's pretty typical. I'd say like probably nine times out of ten when you try to call this way, that's that's how it happens. That's how it ends up anyhow. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys another way that's guaranteed to get you connected to an IRS agent. So uh, let me pull it up here. It's through a calling assist company called Claimer. It's C L A I M Y R. Um, here's their website right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, so yeah, just click on that and then you'll see this green uh, call now button. So just select that and then next it'll tell you to uh, select your community. So you can place calls to different government agencies here or like state offices too, but uh, you know, we want to call the IRS. So I'm just going to select IRS and then next it'll ask you uh, for your name. So I'll put in my name here. And then after that, I'll go ahead. It's going to ask you for your phone number. So uh, then I'll just enter in my phone number there. Continue. And then they'll send a text message authorization code. So that just, that was my phone that dinged. Um, so I'll enter that in here. And then after that, it'll give me the option to call the IRS to like place the call through the website. And it costs $19.99. But um, like I said, it is guaranteed to get you connected and you don't have to like you don't have to navigate the phone menu or like place a bunch of calls to try to get through. So how it works is like they'll call for you and then once they reach a hold line with an actual representative at the IRS, they'll route that call back to your phone. So all you have to do is like answer your phone like you would any other phone call. And then like when you do, you'll be like on on a line with an IRS representative. So um, I'm going to enter in my payment information to place a call and then I'm going to stick around and like record so I can like show you guys when I do get the call um, back from the IRS. So, you know, you can like see that it does work and stuff, but um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. So I just, uh, I just got a call. I'm going to answer it. 
Be careful not to fall victim to IRS impersonation scams. Okay, so yeah, this, is, this is the IRS will that called me back. Email or text you to demand immediate payment, nor will we call about taxes owed without first having mailed you a bill. The IRS never calls asking for your credit card, debit card. So they always they always give this message. Um, when when they call you and then after this message I could be on the whole line. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for contacting the Internal Revenue Service. My name is Sanford and my badge number would be one zero zero four zero twenty nine four forty nine. How can I help you? Hey there, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, um, I did hang up, but uh, yeah, I, that that got me on hold um, with and with or got me talking to uh, someone at the IRS, and I just got a text message from Claimer that I placed the call with. It says, "Thanks for using Claimer. How was your call? If the IRS dropped your call, we will offer." Wait, I gotta open my phone. We will offer uh, 10 additional callbacks for free for up to 48 hours. To get another call, respond to this text message with yes. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, yeah, so that was a text message I just got from Claimer after I talked to an IRS agent. So it, it does work. Um, yeah, so that's that's a couple of ways that you guys can try to uh, reach somebody at the, at the IRS. So... Yeah, anyhow, that's all for now. Take care, guys, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.